Hello, welcome back to the channel. I've got a very, very exciting Excel add-in that is AI driven, that is absolutely a game changer for anybody that is beginner, intermediate, or even advanced Excel users. This AI tool is absolutely amazing. It is faster than ChatGPT. It is way more accurate than ChatGPT with any Excel questions that you might have. This add-in is, is perfect because you no longer have to go from ChatGPT to ask your questions to copy the formula and be extremely specific with your prompts in ChatGPT, uh, to bringing that answer from ChatGPT back into Excel and then try to implementing it yourself. Um, this Excel add-in tool is all within Excel. It's AI driven, all within that one application. Um, and so check some of these features out, you guys. I think it's gonna be, it's going to be life-changing for anybody that lives in Excel on a daily basis. Um, so let's go in, check it out, and let me know what you guys think in the comments. There's gonna be a link down in the description to this excelmaster.ai website, so please check it out and let me know what you guys think. All right, so here's the excelmaster.ai tool that I'd found that I wanted to show you guys. Um, it has completely blown away all expectations of uh, an add-in for an Excel tool. Um, so here's the website. You know, you can see that they got a Windows, Windows version. Uh, you can try it for free, obviously. Um, you can see here, uh, you know, it has all time, types of options. It has VBA, formula generation, data classify and generate, data clean and prep, data extraction from PDFs, which is nice. Um, I know they do have a Python capability in here too. Um, I think that might be still, still in progress. They're, they're still working on developing it. But um, So let's go over to Excel, show you guys some of these features. Uh, so I downloaded a, a random data set here just to kind of show you guys what's what's all possible. But once you've uh, downloaded the add-in, it will automatically add it to your Excel instance as an add-in up here. So you can see excelmaster.ai. We can click on that. We have three options. We have AI Assistant, which is where we'll do most of our uh, activities today. There's a help and there's a backup history. So what's really nice uh, about this tool is, so let's say for example, we're doing a VBA uh, application to this. We execute the VBA and we don't like what it what it did to our file. We can go up to this backup history uh, button here and we can actually reload the document that we had before we executed that VBA, which is really, really handy. Um, so let's go ahead and open up this AI assistant. You can see it pops up over here. We have multiple options, Excel problem solving assistant general, advanced formula assistant, data clean, transform and classify, AI automation assistant, and Python, code generation assistant, VBA power query and office script and data extraction assistant. Um, so I actually uh, met with the founder of this technology, uh, this new tool, and he kind of walked me through everything, how everything works and what makes this tool pretty unique. Um, so if you if you have lived in the Excel world before, uh, and maybe you're you know you're a, you're an advanced user and you do VBA and you do some Excel you know advanced Excel functions, um, you've probably gone to ChatGPT, asked it a question, maybe copied the VBA script into your workbook, created a new module, pasted that code in there, and then ran it. Um, What's really nice about this tool, and I'm speaking just on the on the VBA part of it, because that's really where I live predominantly in Excel and with my freelance work. Um, what's really nice is when you ask for the, the VBA code, if you're doing some sort of automation piece, it will give you the code here in Excel, and then there will be a button that says literally just execute. And you can execute that VBA without having to copy it from ChatGPT, create a new module, drop that new, that code in there, execute the code. Um, it's all handled inside of the add-in, so it makes it super easy. What's also really nice about this, this add-in is that it's trained primarily on um, just Excel itself. So with ChatGPT, you know, it's, it's everything. It is literally everything. With this Excel, with this add-in, it is trained exclusively on Excel. So it is really, really good at identifying key things about Excel that make Excel unique. Like for example, if you were to prompt ChatGPT and say, you know, um, I need a VBA formula that will loop through column G or customer name or, you know, you have to be very specific with ChatGPT and the prompts that you give it. 
Here with this tool, you do not have to be as precise with your language. You can you can be very vague, and it will pick up on those things um, rather well. So, enough talking. Let's go ahead. I want to show you guys some of these cool things. Um, we're going to focus primarily on um, the VBA piece to this, and then we can do some also some advanced formula assistant. Okay, so we're going to pick code generation assistant. Um, the first thing it's going to ask you is if you have multiple sheets in your worksheet, it's going to ask you which sheet we are working with. So if you have multiple sheets um, that you need your VBA script to do something with, you would just select those two sheets and it would know, okay, those are my parameters. I know that I'm going to be working in orders. I know I'm going to be working in returns and so on and so forth. So we've selected orders. It's going to say, okay, please describe the task in as much detail as possible. Uh, we're going to go super easy with this first one. We're just going to say, can you highlight a product category office supplies in red? Okay, so we're going to say uh, product category, which is here, column J, uh, in red. You know, so we could do that with conditional formatting. If you don't know how to use conditional formatting properly, um, and you just want to just type in this prompt, you can simply do that. You can see it does take uh, a couple seconds to retrieve the answer. So what it's going to do is going to reiterate what you asked. It's going to give you its reasoning steps. So what did it do uh, to, get to, to get to its conclusion? It's going to offer you user instructions. If you wanted to copy this VBA code into a module and then execute it, you can certainly do that. Or you can see here, it gives us this backup and execute uh, button, which will literally just run this code immediately. So we're looking at product category here. We hit backup and execute. We hit okay. It's gonna say parts of your document may include personal information. This is just because of this, this data file that I downloaded from the internet. It's just a random file. We hit okay, highlighting complete, and bam. You can see all the office supplies gets highlighted in red. You can undo this change. So if we click undo the change, you can see all that red goes away. Back up and execute. We can just do it again. And then bam, we get that. There we go. Okay? So, very, very straightforward. Again, you can copy this code, drop it into your own module if you'd like. Let's go ahead and do a new task. We will do VBA again. We'll do something a little bit more, a little bit more advanced than just some highlighting. Um, okay, we'll do, let's see here. Let's do some deletion of rows. Okay, so processing now please wait about 30 seconds okay please describe your task can you delete any rows where order priority priority is medium pretty straightforward okay so over here in order priority you know what we could do is we could highlight or sorry we could filter this to medium select those rows and delete it we could certainly do that um, might be faster than what I'm showing you here but I want to show you guys what you know what's, what's possible obviously so again it's giving you its reasoning steps it's giving you the instructions on if you wanted to copy the module and execute it yourself you can certainly do that or it'll give you the code you can see it sets up a nice a nice variable for the last row it dims your worksheet loops through each of the rows based on the used range back up and execute so we should see all of these mediums go away we'll hit ok and bam so all the medium order priority has been deleted we'll go ahead and undo that change and we get our mediums back so there we go alright let's do another one let's do one that's a little bit more advanced certainly more than uh, what we've done so far um, let's see if it can create a bar chart for us against what do we want to do uh, let's do ship mode against unit price can you create a bar chart that shows ship mode and unit price let's see what it gives us here I have no idea what this is gonna do I have never done this so hopefully it works for this video it's thinking it's thinking Okay, give us the reasoning steps again. Most likely going to be another VBA macro. And let's see what it's doing here. Okay, it's dimming all of our variables, setting our worksheet, getting the last row, find the columns for ship mode and unit price. Okay, pretty easy. You can see, there we go, the chart creation. 
I'm gonna add a new sheet. And it's doing a nice, a lot of formatting for us too, which is really good. Back up and execute, Let's see what happens here. And there we go. Look at that. It gives us our chart. We didn't have to do anything against, let's see, ship mode by average unit price. So that's pretty neat. And you can see the accuracy here. 2.84 for the Express Air, 500 and some change for the delivery truck, and almost 10 for the regular air. So perfect. That's pretty neat. All right. Let's do something else. Um, let's actually do a an advanced formula assistant here. Uh, let's do it on orders. Okay. So let's do, let's see if it can add a formula in here for us that just gives us the to total sum of shipping cost. Actually, let's do, let's make it a little bit more interesting and let's do, let's make it a sum if. So can you create a formula that sums shipping cost where the order priority is high. Let's see what this gives us. Formula some shipping costs where order priority is high. Certainly it says, oh, okay, so we get our formula here. And there we go. Okay, so here, this is nice too. It allows you to select what cell you want to place this function in. So right now I'm, I've selected E2, so it says insert formula into orders E2. We don't really want it to go there. So let's go all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Here, and we'll say insert, and there we go, 5,209. So let's go see how accurate this is. So if we filter this by high, and we sum our shipping cost, we get what? 5209. And I think I remember that being accurate. Let's go back down here. 5209.55. There we go. So there we go. That is the Excel Master.ai. Obviously, there are tons of options here that I didn't cover in this video. Um, like I said, you know, more advanced formulas, data cleaning. Uh, Python and data extraction assistant from extracting data from images and PDFs. So um, certainly a really cool tool. Definitely try out the free version. I know um, depending on what you have, the free or the pro or the premium depends on how many uh, responses you can get. So you can see here free, uh, you only get 15 GPT-40 mini responses per month. So not, not many at all. Um, and then when you go to the pro, which is about 10 bucks a month, you get a thousand uh, GPT-40 and, GP and 100 GPT-40 Claude Sonic 3.5 responses per month. Um, so certainly try out the free version. Um, if you find that it's something you love, then certainly I would recommend going to the pro version. But um, excellent. Let me know what you guys think of this tool. If anybody has actually used this thing in the comments, please let me know your thoughts on it. Um, or if there's something more specific that you want me to show here in this video or in these YouTube videos covering this tool, let me know and I'm certainly happy to do that.